Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to my channel, Lovely Moments Creating. If you are new here, welcome. Come on in and join the family. All you have to do is hit that subscribe button and remember the notification bell so you can be reminded every time I upload a video. My name is Jenny and on this channel I create lovely DIYs using mostly items that I find at the Dollar Tree. I try to keep my DIYs budget friendly but easy to do. I hope everyone is well, I hope everyone is staying safe, and I also hope everyone is crafting. In this video, I am sharing with you more of my holiday creations. If you want to see what I came up with, then keep watching. Hello again, my friends. Thank you for watching another one of my videos. I am sharing with you today five holiday DIYs that I have created for my kitchen. For this first DIY, I have two of these utensils. Holders and I got them from the Dollar Tree as well as my Dollar Tree juke board I have some other items here from Walmart and I got this buffalo check ribbon for $1.98 and these cute little frosted pine cones for $1.98 I have four bunches here I got these picks all for $0.98 cent at Walmart and what I'm going to do is just clip these two down here because they are a little too long and what I want to do is add the greenery first to my spoons and I'm just going to lay them down and then take some hot glue to tack them down. Then once I get my greenery tacked down, I'm going to go in with my frosted berry picks and I'm just going to lay them right on top of the greenery and I'm going to add some hot glue to tack these down as well. And after I get that tacked down, I'm just adding some extra glue to tack down my berries a little bit more. And then I'm going to go in and add one of the little frosted pine cones to each one of these. And after I get my pine cones tacked down, I am going to go in with the juke cord. And I am going to wrap it around the handle of these spoons, making sure that I cover the stems of my picks. And once I have it wrapped around to where the stem is covered, I'm just going to tack the juke cord down in the back and cut off the excess. And I'm just going to repeat that step with the other one, adding the hot glue in the back and then wrapping the handle until the stems are covered. Now what I'm going to do is just add little pieces of jute cord in the back. I'm just creating a hanger so I will be able to hang these. And then what I'm going to do next is I'm just going to add some of that buffalo check ribbon right around my jute cord. And that also is giving my hanger a little extra security. And once I have the ribbon wrapped around both, I am going to cut off some extra ribbon to create two little bows. And I'm not the bow specialist, so <laughs> these are going to be very simple. I'm just tying two simple bows. And then I'm just going to clip the ends. And then once I have my bows created, I'm just going to go in and glue these right down on top of the ribbon. And I'm just using my hot glue for that. And then after I get both of these bows tacked down, I am going to go in with two more of those frosted pine cones and I'm just adding one in the middle of each one of my bows and then now I'm going to work on the center piece for this and what I'll be using is some more of the jute cord and I have one of the Dollar Tree cutting boards I have a piece of scrapbooking paper here I paid 25 cent for that I have one of these floral, these greenery picks, and you get two for $2 at Walmart, but I'll just be using one. I have another one of those frosted berry holiday picks from Walmart. 
and I'll be using some more of the little frosted pine cones. I also will be using my larger buffalo check ribbon and this one was $3.98 for this row. And what I'm going to do first is I am going to take that scrapbooking paper and just trace out the center of this cutting board. And then I'm just cutting that paper out and once I get it cut out I'm going to take some Mod Podge and I'm going to add it to the board as well as the paper and I'm going to spread it out using just one of my little Dollar Tree foam brushes. And once I get everything spread it out I'm going to take my paper and add it to the center of the cutting board and I'm just going to press that down make sure that everything is lined up and I'm going to smooth everything out and once I get that all smooth out I am going to take some more of the Mod Podge and I'm going to add it to the paper and then I'm going to use my brush and spread everything over the paper then I'm going to start adding my leaves my greenery to the bottom of the cutting board I'm just clipping them off with my wire cutters and adding some glue because all of my greenery will be at the bottom of this cutting board and I am going to stop for a minute and I'm going to wrap the jew cord around the handle before I continue adding some more of my greenery and my berry pick because I do want the top of the berry pick to lay right on the top of the jute cord. So I'm going to wrap this first and then I'm going to take um, some hot glue just to tack it down in the back. And then I'm just cutting off the extra and now what I'm going to do is now add that berry pick. I'm just going to add some glue and tuck that right under those leaves because I just wanted the tip of the top of the berry pick to be laying on top of the jute cord. And then once I get that tacked down, I'm going to go in and start adding more of my leaves to cover the bottom of this pick up. And then what I'm going to do is take those other frosted pine cones and I'm just going to glue them down right on top of these leaves. I have three here, but I'm going to add another one because I want four. And then I, I did take some of that large buffalo check ribbon and created another basic bow. I'm just fluffing it out and then I'm going to tack that down right to the top, right to the side on top of the jute cord. And then once I get this added, this step will be complete and I'll be able to style all three of those pieces together. And these really look high in. I do like how they turn out and I cannot wait to style these in my kitchen. I really wanted to go with the berries this year for my kitchen because they so festive and they look really pretty for the holiday. I really like how these turned out. And so what I'm gonna do is get started on the next DIY for today. And what I'll be using for that DIY is two of these round wood pieces from the Dollar Tree. I also have some 99 cent picks here from Walmart. I have four of these. These are so pretty. I also will be using three of these other picks that has these pine cones attached to them. I have a few of the berry picks that I picked off of one of those Walmart berry picks. And I also will be using a little bit of my white chalk paint and my antique wax chalk paint. And the first thing I'm going to do is glue these two round pieces together. I'm doing this because I just wanted to create a larger base. Once I get that complete, what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint this using an anti-wax color chalk paint. But I am going to wipe it off with a paper towel. I'm just trying to stain it. Much of the base won't show, so that's why I didn't distress it or anything. I'm just clipping some of these picks down because they were just a little too long. And once I get them all clipped down, the ones that I am going to clip down, I'm just going to add them now to the base and I'm gluing these two together just like this. And then I'm going to go the opposite way with the other two, laying them right on top of each other. And I'm going to add some hot glue for that step. 
The next thing I'm going to do is go in with these other picks and I'm just going to fluff these out and arrange them to where my pine cones all meet in the center. I want to make sure that they are touching each other. And I am adding hot glue as I go along just to make sure that everything is secure. And I'm making sure that the pine cones are touching each other. And once I get that all secure, I am going to go in with those little berries and I'm just going to add them around the arrangement. Just making sure that I have like an even distribution. And after I get these little berries in there, I am going to take that white chalk paint and I'm going to brush over the pine cones as well as some of the greenery just to give it a frosted look. This centerpiece looks really high end and I do like how it turned out. This is really good for a table of four. It's not too big, it's not too small. It's actually really pretty in the middle of a table. And I am so happy how this turned out. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get started on the next DIY for today. And what I will be using for that DIY will be this little jar that I got here from the Dollar Tree. I also have one of these holiday picks that have the little apples attached to them. I will be using some of these garland ties from the Dollar Tree. I will be using this little wreath. I got this out of a six pack from Hobby Lobby for two bucks and some more of my buffalo check ribbon and this little jute cord. What I'm doing first is I'm going to add the little wreath on the top of the jar and then I'm going to add in my little garland ties and I'm just going to fluff them out. I'm going to go ahead and add the little holiday pick with the apple right in the center and I'm just fluffing everything out and then I am going to add some hot glue to make sure that my wreath around the top is tacked down and then I'm going to take that buffalo check ribbon and just go right around the rim of the jar. After I complete that, what I'm going to do is just take that jute cord and I'm going to go right around the ribbon and just tie it in a little bow and I'm going to have my little bow right on the side and I'm just going to clip down the little extra cord and then I am going to take some more of that shark paint and I'm just going to go over the greenery and the leaves and the apple just giving it a little frosted look. And after I finish that, this DIY will be complete. I really like how this is turning out. And here is a look of how all of the DIYs turned out today. Everything is so pretty. I cannot wait to style these in my kitchen. They do have a high-end look to them. Thank you so much for watching another one of my videos. I hope you enjoyed these DIYs. If so, please remember to give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my channel because I would love to have you here. And as always, let me know in the comment box down below which one of these DIYs were your favorite. And stay safe and I will see you in the next video.